Zeke, can you just talk the way you guys are playing offensively? Whichever way teams want to defend you, it seems like you guys have an answer for anything that, that they want to do to you. Um, yeah, it, it all starts up front, uh, the O-line. You know, from the beginning of the game where they established the line of scrimmage, they uh, dominate the, the line of scrimmage, and um, they got their run game going, and uh, everything fell into place after that. What happened on the uh, – when you kind of fell near the pylon or on the pylon, what was exactly – when you, when you slow to get up there? Yeah, I fell on the pylon. That thing is kind of hard. <laughs> Maybe we should find a new spot for it. <laughs> Most people think those are foamy and soft, but that's... Um, I think it is foamy, but it's hard. It's it's hard. And it, at the bottom, the base of it's hard, too. So, uh, no, nah, it's definitely not soft. Did you land on like, your hip or where did you get, where did you get uh, it? I landed, like, on my back. Look at my ribs. Yeah, you. it must have really hurt because you instantly... Put your hand there. Oh, it did. did it feel like something was stabbing you. Yeah, it, it definitely hurt. Um, I mean, normally I get up, <laughs> at least get off the field, but right there I had to, <laughs> had to chill out a little bit. But uh, yeah, I mean, kind of just stabbed me, uh, lost my win. Um, yeah. Zeke, what does it say about this team that you guys didn't didn't really play that well, at least with the turnovers early, and still dominated? Um, yeah, uh, we didn't play that well. It was early. We turned the ball over in the in the red zone. That can't happen at all. Um, but uh, I mean, we we got the job done. Uh, but we definitely gotta we gotta um, focus on you know playing a complete game. I think I think I said last week. That's our next step as a team is playing a complete game and dominating the team from the first to the fourth quarter. So um, yeah, we got some some work to do. In some respects, is that the most encouraging? It's not like you guys are peaking here in October. There's still room to grow and still time to put together that effort. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I mean, I don't love it that, but I, I do. I am encouraged that, you know, our best football is ahead of us. Um, right now, we're not peaking. Uh, it's, it's a long season, and um, we, we want to make sure we're peaking at the right time. Um, but but uh, we got to just week in, week out, keep working uh, to reach and where we want to go. How good was that 98-yard drive? I mean that 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 98 yard drive was was, was super dope. Uh, you know, especially it kind of what what were we only up seven or ten, but to go up two scores, uh, get the ball or get the ball on the two, and go up and be able to drive it down the field 98 yards. Um, I mean that's hard. One on the defense, um, and a, that yeah, I kind of lost my train of thought. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you kind of took the defenses? Uh, will or whatever at that point after doing something like that or, or in the middle of that? Um, yeah, I think so. Uh, I think what? This is our, correct me if I'm wrong, third week running for 200 again. Uh, so, I mean, I think the old line, they came out there and they they dominated and, and everything fell apart after then. You think as impressive as your running game streak is um, and your entire body of playing sports, have you ever seen a streak individually as impressive as the one Trayvon Diggs is on? No, no. Uh, how many picks he got? What, six? I mean, that's crazy. Uh, what's the NFL record, like nine, ten? Fourteen. Fourteen? Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, I mean, if, if they keep throwing at the kid, he's going to he's gonna uh, get more. I mean, he, he almost had two other ones <laughs> today. So, I mean, if you keep, you keep throwing the ball at seven, he's going to pick you off. So, I mean, I think it's about time. Quarterback stopped looking his way. <laughs> you know what Saquon had to go through to kind of come back from that knee injury? Do you, do you feel for him when he has to go out with that with the ankle deal? Um, yeah, you definitely feel for a guy uh, who's been through so much uh, in the past year, um, that knee injury and putting in all the work uh, to come back. And last week, him, you know, probably and definitely having his best game uh, since the injury. Uh, him finally, I wouldn't say finally, but definitely looking like himself. Uh, so, I mean, that sucks. And uh, I feel I feel really bad for Saquon. Um, he's a hell of a back. Um, you know, I, I just hope he, he, you know, he gets gets in that training room. I hope he gets healthy, uh, takes care of his body. The way that this game was scheduled, it's almost a year to the day of Dak's injury. Same team, same place. Was it on your mind a little bit more today, or not at all? Uh, no, it wasn't really on my mind at all. I just we just focused on coming out here and uh, getting this division win. Zeke, do you still have pain, or did it go away? Oh, no, I feel it. <laughs> Did it cut you? 
Uh, I don't know. I can't see back there. <laughs> 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 that was a uh, brutally. <laughs> that game was brutally physical. Did it? I mean, Giants were leaving left and right. You guys, you got banged up. Did it seem more than usual? I mean, uh, that this is a rough one. Um, I think going into every division game, you're expecting it to be physical, um, especially when you're t playing a team that knows you very well. Uh, so, I mean, it definitely was a physical game, but I think I think we're built built for these physical games. How did your knee hold up? Knee felt good. Is it one of these things where you think you'll monitor it? Now you got to worry more about your back, your lower back, than your knee? Um, <laughs> uh, I think it's football. I think every week something something's up. So, I mean, just important I get in that training room all weekend and get right uh, for next weekend. This is your second straight game with 100 rushing yards, but Tony had 100 all-purpose yards of rushing and receiving. How, I know it's sometimes the media, we kind of almost like pit the two of you together where if Tony ha can't have success without us asking you about it, but the combination, the power of that, what, what, what do you see in terms of when it's, you guys are both clicking, you guys like you, like you are? Uh, I think it's tough on defenses. Um, it's definitely tough, uh, especially when we're running the ball the way the way we can. Uh, just, I mean, you got two different backs, two different styles. You don't know necessarily how to fit the runs. We run differently, so I mean, I think it, I think it's tough on that defense, and and uh, I mean, it keeps both of us fresh, and and it's been working out pretty pretty well. Uh, so I mean, we just gotta, you know, keep that up, and I mean, hopefully we can keep this 200 yard running game, or 200 yard rushing uh, streak alive. <laughs> You guys didn't get your fourth win last year until December. Now you have it through five weeks. Can you just talk about a difference, what a difference a year makes and where you guys are and the confidence that you guys have? Um, yeah, I mean, definitely we're in a different spot last year. Um, but I mean, I think as, as a team, we remember last year, but we've put that so far behind us. Uh, and now uh, we're so focused on, on going and accomplish what we need to accomplish this year. Um, but. I mean, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Keep going blank, mind going blank. <laughs> I don't know what the stats were today, but first down, you and Tony have been extremely efficient this season. Is that something you guys have discussed or been aware of at all going into to get today? And what do you think has been crucial for that success? Um, I don't think we've necessarily discuss it that way but we, we every week we want to make sure we stay ahead of the chains and and that means you know going to get five and six seven yards on first down and that means that you're going to convert on first and second down a lot too so um I mean I think that's that's this shows how well this O-line is playing that you know we're able to run a ball that efficiently and um I mean those guys are, are playing hell of football right now yeah, good. All right.